Hey guys, my name is Shai. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card reading. Go ahead and pick your card. It's piles 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and number 10. Card number 1. Three of Pentacles. How funny. I pulled this card for myself this morning. This card is, I mean, as you can see, there's tons of sacred geometry on it. Metatron's cube, all of these balanced pentacles. We got labyrinths down here. This is a yes, by the way. This is absolutely a yes. This is this card is really an amped up version of the Three of Pentacles. It is all about immersing yourself in creativity, knowing that once you become kind of like consumed by your passion for your your passion project or your your new creative endeavor that that will be a spiritual journey in and of itself. So if you're asking about any kind of anything that you love, any kind of project you need to work on, especially if it's a creative project or a business project or maybe something you're doing with your family, yes, absolutely yes. Card number two. The alien. <laughs> this is also the second card I pulled for myself this morning. The, so far, we are getting the cards that I already pulled. Very interesting. Uh, the alien. This would be the hermit card in a regular tarot. I take this as a yes. This is a very special hermit card. The hermit card is all about turning inward for knowledge. This card is similar, but instead of turning inward, you're turning away from your physical reality and going to the transcendent. It is turning inward, sure, to get your connection to the transcendent, but this is reminding you to look outward, to look bigger, to look beyond, not just to look beyond your physical reality to look within, but look even look beyond yourself. Look to the biggest zoomed out perspective you can imagine. Go all the way out into the highest realms of the cosmos that seem interesting to you. So this is a yes. And this is think transcendent guys. This is, this card is about, <laughs> this card is about transcendence, including transcending yourself. Card number three, judgment. This is a yes. Look at this guy. I hope you guys can see the details on these cards. This is the Starman tarot. And I know it's a little hard to see, all of these details, but this dude is shining light right out of his heart. This card is about speaking up, speaking out, not being held back. This is judgment day has come, but I almost feel like you guys are the judge. This is everything good is coming back around for you. Everything <laughs> like the cosmic hammer of justice is coming down and it's going to be on your side. I got a really, really good vibe from this. And if you're wondering if you should do something or speak out about something or act, this is a great time to do any of that. Card number four, 10 of wands. I get a no vibe from this 10 of wands. This dude isn't just exhausted from harvesting his, his crops. He has been stabbed and he is bent over. And I just get this like slave driving vibe off of this card. I typically like the Ten of Wands, but I don't really like this Ten of Wands. I feel like whatever you guys have been doing or whatever you you might do in the future is a burden to the point of you're like you have been burdened to your breaking point and it might be time to put that burden down. So I'm going to give this a no. Card number five. Four of Wands. This is a yes. Look at this flower of life here. Look at the flower of life. That's obviously a yes. <laughs> and watch out for this. You guys are going to start seeing this flower of life or you probably have already seen it in other places. This is uh, the happy home, but not just the happy home. This is your happy connection with the cosmos. This is connecting with the divine, the transcendent, the other side, whatever your expanded reality is. This is connecting with that and getting on a solid footing with it. This is a yes. Card number six, the hanged man. Well, the hanged man is a no, but it's kind of a good no. It is a, it's a waiting energy. It is looking deep within yourself to find a new perspective. But 
whatever you're trying to do or wondering if you should do or worrying about right now, everything is on hold. Everything is waiting for further information, waiting for events to unfold, for energies to shift. Right now, you're playing the waiting game. You have to wait and see. And overall, this is just a no. Card number seven. Nine of Swords. Obviously, that's a no. Everybody knows that's a no. This particular Nine of Swords is quite harsh. She is being attacked by some kind of entity. If you guys are going through a spiritual awakening and you have had just bad vibes coming from unseen forces, know that that is just a stage in your journey that right now you are being asked to work through the fear and these entities or parasites or whatever is after you or trying to get you, they can't actually harm you. They're only here to scare you. And working through your fear and finding ways to overcome all of this, that's part of your journey. And this is really just a phase. You're going to get through this. And you are going to learn very valuable lessons. And one day you're going to be able to look back on that and go, man, I can't believe I was afraid of like those shadow beings or those parasites coming to get me. Because obviously I know now that they can't touch me. And you're going to learn a very important lesson about how to defend yourself and about how to just transcend all of this, um, these stupid little lower astral kind of games. So don't worry about this thing coming to get you. You're going to be able to stand up and be strong and get right through this. It's you're going to be good. Trust me. Trust me on this one. I've been there. This is a phase uh, that happens when you have first started your journey and we all get through it. Card number eight. Temperance. This is a yes, especially if you are asking about bringing two things together or blending things or actually taking a chill pill. Because temperance can always be that tempering, tempering the blade in the oil, something might be kind of uncomfortable to you as you tone it down, temper it together, blend it together, but it is definitely for the best and it is going to bring you to a higher octave. Yes, this is a yes. Card number nine. The chariot. This is a yes. This is charging ahead. This is being sovereign in your power and it is being fearless. Just be careful with this that you don't drive right off a cliff. Sometimes people with chariot energy can just charge right off. Chariot also is connected with cancer. And I don't know about you guys, but the cancers I know, they tend to procrastinate, 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 and then just do something completely irrationally and then end up regretting it. So this card, yes, it's a yes, but make sure that you are really holding the reins. You want to really be like this, this strong, self-assured guy. Don't do anything, you know, too impulsive without knowing why you're doing it. You can be impulsive, but make sure that your motivations and your intentions are clear. If you don't understand why you're doing something, hold on a second and get clear on why you're doing it. Don't forget your why. Okay, guys, know why you're charging off onto the horizon. If you don't know why, you might just like fly right into the Grand Canyon. So <laughs> card number 10, the Hierophant. This is a yes. This is a mark of your spiritual journey, your activations with your higher self and your connection with your higher self. You guys are downloading light codes right now. You guys are downloading new information. You are getting ready to level up. This is a yes. And if you're asking about anything to do with your spiritual journey, yeah, or even just inner work, any anything on your personal journey, absolutely. This is it. This is this is your vertical connection with the cosmos. This is you are plugging yourself into whatever higher powers you guys believe in. And if you are wondering about sharing your understandings and perspectives with others, this is a yes. And if you're also looking to gain somebody else's perspectives and understandings to learn from somebody else, this is also a yes. Just remember that you don't need to believe everything everybody says. Just listen to them, take in their perspective, um, learn to kind of understand what they know and then take from that what makes sense to you and what resonates for you. You can absolutely listen to them and learn from them that don't feel like you have to swallow everything they say whole hog. You can still love them and respect them and 
leave some of what they have to teach on the table. You don't need to take all of it. Uh, but yeah, this is a yes, definitely. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.